Well, hey, good morning, guys. Well, is it morning? No, it's actually evening, and it is Jersey Girl. Look, um, I thought I might do something to my face, but then I decided mm, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I am just going to go ahead and be me this evening. So thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, I am already over here on this side. I am going to go ahead and play one particular song, because I told y'all that we gonna groove out tonight and I meant what I said. So I'm gonna make sure I do my part. Um, I need to make sure that my, y'all already know how it goes with me in this volume, right? Where I'm just like, ooh, ooh, I need to make sure that, um, <laughs> you know, it ain't doing the mostest when I am trying to make sure that I play stuff so I can make sure that the volume is good. And so what I'm doing right now is if I can get this stuff to coordinate with me, one of my phones definitely acts um, so ignorant is the best way to be able to put it. Um, but I want to put on this song because it takes me back. OK, and I think it is so on time for exactly what it is that we're talking about tonight. OK, so it's probably going to end up playing a darn commercial. And y'all already know I ain't got time for the commercial. So we're going to put that on mute until it's time for me to go ahead and skip through it. So then that way we can go ahead and play. And you're going to jam out with it too. So I I'm looking forward to you guys enjoying this song right along with me. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> so while the music is playing, make sure that y'all go ahead and invite people in. That's what I'm going to do over here. Okay. So invite people in the room. Let's go ahead and get it going. Just giving it some time to play, giving you guys an opportunity to come on and get in the room, okay? And it is Mary J. Blige's Changes, okay? Okay, so the whole point of playing Mary J. Blige is just the changes. It's just the name of the song, okay? I ain't saying I want nothing back. I'm just saying the name of the song is Changes. <laughs> so as you guys can see tonight, we are going to be talking about useful, um, adaptive uh, resources that we can be able to utilize when there are changes that we are going through. Okay. And so that is what Mary J. Blige was singing about people. So let's go ahead and uh, as we say, pay some bills while we at it. Why not? Okay. So I want to go ahead and show you guys exactly where you can be able to shop, but I want to be able to show you guys something too. Okay. So get ready. 
Um, if you need to go ahead and grab your favorite beverage, um, go ahead and go and do that while I try to go ahead and stick this phone back over here because, you know, so that way it's kind of off to the side. But I'm going to show y'all exactly what I have been drinking, okay? Uh, because if you got a chance to tune in when I was in the car, like a couple of weeks ago when I was doing a road trip, yes, okay, I was telling you guys about this green drink. This one right here, okay? So this is a liquid chlorophyll. Mm -hmm. And so just a teaspoon of this in whatever it is that you're drinking, and it's got like a nice little minty taste that goes along with it. Um, it is a natural deodorizer. And you can be able to purchase this, um, not obviously my glass and everything, okay, but the liquid chlorophyll, which actually comes from plants. So it is plant-based, okay? It's the plants that be outside to get the photosynthesis from the sun to go ahead and grow. That's the chlorophyll, okay? And so um, it's got like a nice minty flavor that goes along with it, okay? And it helps you um, uh, with your natural deodorizing, people, okay? In all areas, okay? <laughs> So the natural deodorizing in all areas, it actually is going to be able to help you in every which way, okay? So you may notice after a while, um, obviously it's green, so I wiped it off. It has a little dust on it. Mm -mm, we're going to be drinking that. Um, that you may notice that, you know, when things are coming out, they may be a tint of green, okay? And that's okay. It's all right. But this is going to be able to help you in the morning. Um, yeah, you'll notice that you won't have as much morning breath. What? Yes. And if you are looking for natural means of being able to have an old, overall good old sense, mm -hmm, this can be able to help you. Okay. So yeah, I've been on my green drink. And she good. And it doesn't, like I said, it's got a very light mint taste that goes along with it. But I want to be able to show y'all some new stuff that I have been working on in Jersey Girl Cozy Niche store, baby. So you like the store. What store at, girl? You ain't telling me about a store. There it is. You can be able to shop at jerseygirl-cozyniche.com. So let me show you one of the things you're going to be able to catch up in there. I think I showed you guys last week. Let's see if we get a little close up on it. Okay, can you see that? Ain't she pretty? Yes. So this is a wine stopper. So this particular one is um, our glow in the night. Now, you may be wondering, why you call it glow in the night? Well, the reason I call it glow in the night because those actually glow in the dark. Uh-huh. And I got many different colors. So I've got some green, honey. I've got some orange. I've got some pink. I've got some yellow. And so, you know, you've got all these different shapes that you can be able to get. And shop at jerseygirlcozyneats.com, okay? So these can be your bottle um, and wine stoppers. And so if you have a bar at home and look, these glow in the dark. In the dark, they glow. And I'm going to go ahead and shut and throw up a picture so that way y'all can be able to see after the live is all said and done. So that way y'all can see what it looks like at night. So how cute is this going to be up on your very own bar to where your bottles is lit up? What? Yes. Mm. I'm also coming along with some nice um, office features too. So this little thing right here can be able to um, hold your pens and carry on. Mm. And for those who smoke cigars, okay, yeah, we're going to be doing an episode coming up here uh, very soon with Miss Ash Life. Yes. Okay. And I want to show you guys. Now, this one, this is also a glow in the dark. So I'm, I'm introducing the glow in the dark, people. So this is cigar, cigar holder, okay? Cigar tray, not a holder, but yeah, well, you sit the cigar right here. Uh huh. And then it runs off down into here. All right. And then I'm going to show you one more item that you can be able to get at jerseygirlcousinish.com because I'm always introducing new things. Uh, like I said, you know, we have our ring pyramids. So you see this one and this one is glow in the dark as well. Yeah. So for the interaction tonight, people, what you have the opportunity to be able to go ahead and get is going to be this lovely. Uh huh. This pink one, honey. Oh, yes, child. Ain't she cute? So, y'all got to make sure that you interact with me tonight, okay? And then when I contact you, because I'm going to go back, go through after the live, okay? So, this is for my subscribers over on YouTube. Mm -hmm. as well as those that are on Facebook. So the additional gift for the subscribers over on YouTube that will be interacting would be not just one, but two. 
Mm. So get, they'll get this one and a surprise wine slash bottle stopper. So what does that mean? It means, hey, y'all, you subscribe to Jersey Girl Cozy Niche. Make sure that you start going ahead and popping over there on the YouTube channel and start interacting over there. I want to get those algorithms going as much as I possibly can and kind of go from there. Y'all, y'all want to see pretty Ricky because he's like right here. Come here. Come say hi, boy, because you is doing the most. Of this. I'm telling you, mama's trying to do the show and you just ain't trying to let me live and be great. OK. All right. So y'all pretty Ricky. Obviously, he done went and got a haircut. OK. And we don't went for a walk today. Yeah, we want. No, we already know we don't do none of that. Um, yeah. So people like to think I kiss him. But what I end up doing is this. That's what we get. Yeah, that's what we get. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you good to get down there? Yeah. All right. Let's let's go ahead and get down. All right. <laughs> okay, y'all. All right. So let's go ahead and um begin to touch base in regards to some of the resources that we can be able to utilize for adaptability of changes. So I want to be able to show you guys um, you know. Some of the things that you can be able to get at Jersey Girl Cozy Niche, okay? So anytime that you go ahead and you order any products that are resin products, uh, this is one of the inserts that you will get, okay? You can go ahead and be able to snap the QR code for the website as well as the YouTube. And then, of course, I also have my link tree. I shared all of this on Facebook too, okay? So that way you can pick me up on all my social media sites. Um, but you are also able to go ahead and get reorder, you know, but that is when you go ahead and you place your first initial order. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and progress to slide number two, because this is what we're talking about. I'm going to make this one bigger so y'all can see. Okay. So for this one, this is the changes that I'm talking about. Are y'all taking note of this here? Okay. Um, this picture over here, I'm just going to call it on the, let's see, on, on the far left-hand side. Okay. Uh, with the long hair. The long, long, the longest hair that you're going to see. <laughs> and then the picture up underneath where it's got the curly. I'm wearing the gray T-shirt with the pink lettering. And then in the center is my high school picture. I know, right? Check it out. My high school picture. You see, you see. Wait, where's she at over there? Over there. <laughs> high school picture. And then um, that other one, baby, I was I went on my very first cruise. As y'all can see, it's got um, very uh, beautiful Hawaiian flowers down there. That was on a Hawaiian cruise. And then on the far right hand side uh where you see me with my doobie and then uh that bottom picture with me in the blue i'm allowing my curls to breathe okay so why am i showing you these pictures the reason why jersey girl is showing you those old pictures of her, okay because obviously i have gone through changes over the years so that high school picture that you saw, you know, me and my and my white or my holding my cap, you know, my nails have always been long. They listen from the last time that y'all that we even got together about these girl nails. OK, as you can see, my nails are coming back, maybe strong. OK, so the nail game is about to be I'm about to be back with the back delegation. You know what I'm saying <laughs> here in a minute. And so with that particular picture, my hair was long. OK, and I thought about exactly what I was going to be talking about tonight with you guys in regards to what changes are. And I want to be able to show you guys exactly what we're going to be talking about. Resources for adapting to change involves your mindset, being flexible, setting a routine, and being dedicated to the changes. That may be as easy as it is to say, I also believe that that can be a challenge in and of itself to be dedicated, to be committed and dedicated to the change that's going to take place. OK, why do I say that? It is typically said that it takes 21 days to make or break a habit. But guess what? Sometimes people can get started and doing something and do good for, you know, two, three months and then fall off. Okay. I'm one of them. <laughs> I'm one of them. And so I said, okay, then there's got to be more than 21 days to it. It is actually having that mindset to say that no matter what's going on, I want to be able to go ahead and put my best foot forward. So let's go ahead and talk about mindset. 
That is the way that you think about and the way that you process the information. And so the best way to begin to change your mindset is by reading. You need to educate yourself on whatever it is that you're trying to change or whatever changes that have happened to you or that you're trying to do. So then that way you can be able to have the knowledge to be able to back up what it is that you want to do. Because once you know something, being able to get into the rhythm of knowing it, the reason why you are doing it can also be a motivation to you to get it done. Okay. So I encourage you to get books. So let's say that you want to change the way that you organize. Okay. Because maybe you just got stuff everywhere. Okay. And you're like, look, I need to get better at organizing. Okay. I need to change that. I need to change from being, having stuff all over the place and getting better organized. So what do you need to do about that? First of all, read up on exactly why, try to get some education on why you got stuff all over the place. Because if you don't know why you do what you do, if you're trying to come along and change it, it's easy for you to fall off. So there must be another reason why you do what you do. Okay. So let's get down to the root of it and say, okay, maybe the reason why I got stuff all over the place is because when I was younger, every time I turned around, my mother was on my back about cleaning my darn room. I got sick and tired of always having everything in its place and everything has a place because, you know, that's what Jersey girl said. <laughs> so you may be rebelling like, you know, the heck with that. I ain't doing this no dog no more. I'm going to do what I want to do when I want to do it. You hear me? So, hey, um, Aunt Sharon, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. So make sure that y'all come in and comment and say hey there and let me know that you are watching. I appreciate it. So once you get down to know exactly why you do the things that you do, educate yourself on what it is that you seek to change. So you want to get more organized instead of having stuff all over the place because you were in straight rebellion of, you know, whatever the re restrictions were when you were younger <laughs> on keeping your room clean. OK, and it's like now you got to have that mindset to say, you know what, I'm no longer going to continue on with that idea and that thought process. Let me go to tell you exactly what that means for me. You see this blonde hair, honey? You see this blonde hair? Yes, you see this blonde hair. And so you see the other pictures that I showed you, right? Well, my hair was dark. Well, I had a particular situation where I had my hair long and dark for a long time. And um, <laughs> I am a chameleon, okay? I love change. Not only that, I love short hair. Because that high school picture that y'all seen, baby, as soon as I graduated from high school, I chopped all that mess off. Oh, yes, I did. I went and got my Monica cut. Y'all done already heard the story if you've been tuning in to Jersey Girl, okay? So I got it all chopped off. And I love short hair. To me, there's so much versatility with it, okay? But then I, you know, went to a situation where it was just like, okay, you know, let, let's keep this, you know, long, straight black hair. And it, it was a definition of someone else's beauty. Not necessarily mine. I was like, I don't know what the heck to do with this crap no more. The rolls, the, look, the hairstyles I was used to doing was, you know, doing the French rolls. <laughs> Outdated as a mug. And it's like, you think I'm going to keep putting a ponytail on this thing? Ugh, get sick and tired of ponytails. I'm like, this is not the cute. This is not it for me. Okay. And so it's not that I didn't cut my hair any of that time frame because I did, but it was just sticking to the same color. So, baby, once I went blonde <laughs> in 2019, look at here, look at God. Ah, Once I went blonde, baby, I was like, I ain't never going back to black, okay? Never. Just ain't going to happen. Number one, it was my mindset. Because my mindset took me back to that bondage time frame, that bondage of hairstyle, and that definition of beauty. And so, when I was leaving my motivational message today for Monday... I said, you know what? I no longer feel like I have to continue to break against the mold. You know what I'm saying? Fight that fight. I don't. Because, honey, if I decide I want to go to <laughs> Sue Kim and them, okay, and go ahead and buy myself a nice little unit, uh, I'm going to go and get myself a nice little unit. Because mm -hmm. my mind is different. I'm changing my mind about whether or not I can have long hair, whatever color, 
Okay. Because look here, I told you I love color, honey. So if I want to do it red, if I want to do whatever I want to do, if I decide I want to go long, it's okay. I'm not going to put myself back into bondage again just because I decided to change up my hairstyle, okay? I can go back to being versatile. So that's what I mean by educating yourself in reading and getting down to the root of it, okay? Because that is so, so very important, okay? So then let's go ahead and take a look at our next one, which is flexibility. So I want to make sure that I go ahead and put flexibility down in here. I did before, but I don't know what had happened to it, child. Um, uh, be willing, because I'm typing it as we do it right now, be willing to accept the move. Now, why do I say be willing to accept the move? Because it really is that. When you have made changed your mind, you've educated yourself. Don't become so rigid in the change that it then becomes you're just concrete. I'm only doing this all the time. I won't change it because then you are confining yourself yet again. And I don't look like my baby pictures, y'all. I don't know if y'all know it or not, but I don't look like my baby pictures. And guess what? You don't look like your baby pictures neither. <laughs> Over the years, we all begin to look very different because our bodies go through changes, okay? Um, you can look at a woman of when she's pregnant, before pregnancy, during pregnancy, after pregnancy. Heck, even 15, 18, 20 years after pregnancy, okay? There are changes that we go through. More evident in boys, okay? When you hear, when their voices change, Look here. Let me tell you something. Both my sons got some deep behind voices. I don't have no little light, little voice. I don't. <laughs> baby, if you hear me talking, baby, you know that there's some authority in this here voice. Okay. She can get soft when she needs to. Okay. <laughs> but on the general, she commands attention. Not demand, commands attention. And when I say commands, it's something that is effortly, effortlessly down on the inside, okay? My voice is distinct. I do not have a light voice. My voice carries. So with boys, when their voices change from that high pitch into that, and this is like, whoo, you know, more prevalent, my nephews, oh my gosh, when I went to Cali, let me tell you something. I was just like, who is these kids? Hoppo. <laughs> Coming out the room with these doggone deep voices. I'm like, what, what, what happened? Why did not Kimmy pop? He just, his voice is just so deep. It's crazy. <laughs> but it is a part of growing up. That's another thing. Growing up. So if you find that your mindset is the same from umpteen years ago up until now, What's going on with that? Although there is one choice. Mm, baby has been consistent and ain't going to change because <laughs> of who I am. I made that decision a long time ago and I ain't turning back. Okay. All right. <laughs> there ain't no change in that. But even my growth in my own personal relationship with God has changed, has shifted, has matured through the years. And I can try to tell you, well, I can tell you that I tried to keep God in like a box. It was like, you know, oh, he, you know, only moves like this and only under these circumstances and things like that. And God was like, girl, who, who's you? <laughs> I done already told y'all how me and God get down. He don't talk to me like thou is and, and thus and mm -mm, mm -mm. no, he talked to me like I talked to everybody else. Like, girl, you better get yourself together. <laughs> or who are you talking to? <laughs> Look, anybody else that where God kind of talked to them like that, just raise your hand and put it down in the comments. Be like, me too, girl. <laughs> because it's true. You know, he, he don't talk to me like that. He, he really doesn't. I'm like, I'm just being honest with y'all. So flexibility. Understand that change is just that, to be flexible. When you are moving from one mindset to another, be flexible in that. Because it may be just for that season or for that time frame of that flexibility and to not give up on yourself in the midst of it, because we do have a tendency to do that. Ready to throw in the towel when it doesn't line up exactly the way that we think that it's supposed to. Give yourself some grace. It is okay to give yourself some grace when you are working through change. Okay. Routine. You are going to have to set a routine. I'm just going to be honest. 
let let's be let's be real okay so let's go ahead i'm gonna put that down in here so that way you guys can see exactly what i'm saying i'm gonna put routine set it okay yes we're gonna need to set it and why do we need to set it because how else are you going to go ahead and get yourself going you got to be able to put things in line so then that way it becomes more of a natural rhythm to you, okay? To say, yes, I am going to make sure that I don't just take off my clothes and throw them on the side of the bed. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I open up the closet and drop them in a the hamper. <laughs> Routine of it. Let me get them in a natural rhythm of doing this because this is going to help me be able to keep my room clean because I don't want to continue to have a dirty room, okay? I want to be able to have my, my room be my sanctuary without my clothes and shoes being every dog I wear. I'm just using a bedroom as an example because change, change happens in relationship. Change happens in shifts in business. Change shifts and happens within families. It changes in your home decor because y'all already see, I didn't already begin changing the home decor. Okay, my bedroom is my bedroom because my bedroom is everything. Woman, hey, you see my flowers. You see the books. You see the shoes. <laughs> you see these earrings. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying it's all things woman. Okay, so there'll be bling. There'll be <laughs> lots of different things. I'm just saying I'm woman up in here. So I can be able to switch things out. But your home decor Think about it. Even with vehicles, people, every year there's a different model of a car. It's the same car. So Honda is still making Hondas. The Honda Accord is still a Honda Accord. The Acura MDS is still the Acura MDS. But baby, every year they're adding something else. They're being flexible. They shifting and changing and moving with the times. Yes. Okay. So make sure that we go ahead and we get into that. So set a routine so that way it becomes more normal to you. Okay. All right. So our final thing is to be dedicated. So I'm going to type that down here. Dedication. You can do it. <laughs> Dedication. You can do it. Yes. See right there. I'm going to take this other one off. The reason that I say dedication, you can do it is because dedication does require a sacrifice from us. It does. So, yeah, it would be easy. Just take off the clothes and throw it on the side of the bed. Be easy. Take off shoes, leave them there, too. Next day, same thing. Next thing you know, before you know, you got a pile of clothes on the side of your bed. If you go ahead and you set the routine, you know what I'm going to start to do? Change my mind. Instead of being at my bed, taking off my clothes, I'm going to go in my closet where my dirty clothes hamper is. I'm going to get undressed up in there. I'm going to drop them in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and walk my behind into my bathroom and take a shower. Go ahead and dry off. Go ahead and, you know, get, get all my smell goods going and do what needs to be done. And then I'm going to go ahead and get myself in the bed. I'm going to be dedicated to the change that I want to see. I educated myself. I got down to the bottom of it and saw what I needed to see. Let's see what uh, Aunt Sharon uh, had to say. She says, consistency most of the time gets the job done. My internet keeps acting up. We'll catch the replay. Thank you so much, Auntie. I definitely do appreciate it. Thank you. But yes, my aunt was very correct in saying consistency. To be consistent is dedication to go ahead and getting it done. Well, guys, it is already eight o'clock. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I know it's a whole lot of bouncing around with the algorithm in the meta world, okay? But Jersey Girl is still here. And I appreciate you guys so much for those who can be able to tune in and watch it live. Okay. And if you're catching it on the replay, say the re -re 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 replay, girl. Make sure that you drop that down in the comments to put hashtag replay. And I, again, so appreciate you guys. Make sure that you go ahead and you follow me on Facebook, IG, and YouTube. And again, don't forget I'm over on TikTok too, y'all. I am making sure I'm doing more stuff over there on TikTok. And just to be honest with you, I have been slowing down a little bit on Facebook. Why? Because I want you guys to start following me on YouTube. I want to be able to get over a thousand subscribers on YouTube and on TikTok. So then that way I can start going live, y'all. And then we can go ahead and do some crafts and stuff live over there. So just get ready. There are plenty of things coming along. 
So I am going to be reviewing who's been active with me, okay? So then that way they can go ahead and win this beauty. So I will be contacting those that have been very active in the comments with me on Facebook and those that have been very active with me on the YouTube channel as well. Because those that have subscribed to the YouTube channel don't just get one, they'll actually get two. So you see the benefits of getting over there on YouTube, baby, that's what you get it at, okay? And just remember, if you're subscribed on Facebook and on YouTube, but you've only commented on Facebook, that means you're just getting this one from Facebook. So start going ahead and jumping up on YouTube. That way you can be able to get more bang for your buck. <laughs> and that's it for this edition of Jersey Girl. Wraps it up for this edition of Jersey Girl Cozy News. Thank you guys so much for rocking out with us. Make sure that you hit that bell, the notification bell. So that way you can be notified every single time I go live or upload a new video. Because the YouTube channel is where you get your steak, potatoes, desserts, and Drinks, baby.